Hello, welcome to episode two of West Bank Key. I've um, done quite a bit um, since uh, on the last episode. You might not be able to see all the changes just yet, but um, I've started to lay the where the harbour is out. All the track is now all wide, so I'm just going to show you that. I'm not going to fit the point motors until I've ballasted. Obviously I might get some glue down into the point motor um, and I don't want to stop any functionality of that. So all the track is all wide, every single part of the track, so I shouldn't have any problems with power. I've just started to put um, an outline of just some soft wood on there here, the glue's still actually wet, um, and this is going to support the, the harbour. So, and the um, fiddle yard is has all the the, uh, the metal dowels and pegs, and just use these slots in. And this is going to be not just a fiddle yard, it's going to be a scenic fiddle yard, so I'm going to use some scenic idea here it's going to have a, a bridge going across and that comes along so there'll be like a coast road um, and then that will hide any of the tracks that I've got on here and the harbour wall is going to continue along and it just fits in nice I've left this piece of track on there so I could get the levels absolutely spot on so when I come to cut this off there and then put the new track on to the board I'm going to have exactly the same level I had slight um, level problem in the past um, so I've decided to do it this way this time um, so this is yet to be cut off and what I've been doing with the uh, harbour scene is I've put the supports on here I wanted to make um, the harbour walls first before I decided to get the right level so this is 15 mil softwood just underneath, 6mm um, MDF and it's the piece that I actually cut out from the top there and then I've been making the scale scenes harbour wall which this will sit roughly like this um, I've still got a, quite a bit of finishing off of this and then it'll go across there like that And then I want to put it over the front like that and it will just be just above the power connector and the points power. So I think that harbour scene will start to look quite good. Um, it's a relatively easy kit to build from uh, scale scenes. I've still got yeah, all the, all the uh, piles on um, because I'm not sure exactly where I want these steps yet. So I think they probably look better just slightly there and I'll put a piece in the, in the end there rather than putting it right at the end. But I've yet to decide on that. So I may even sort of swap it around like and have the steps fairly close. Um, but I'm not 100% sure because I, I do need like a ramp down here so boats can get up onto the uh, for maintenance at the uh, that's the sort of plan but that is still yet to be decided my next job is actually just to uh, get this track weathered so what I want to do is give it a, a spray paint with some black or brown sort of um, just to give it take this shine off the inside of the tracks, clean all the tracks up afterwards. So I do need to make sure I protect all the point blades. So I'm going to put a piece of masking tape just inside all the point blades just to give those protection so we still get electrical contact. And I just need to protect the point blades. Yeah. 
Apologise because I couldn't find my masking tape, so I'm going to use some uh, electrical tape. But I just need to get this into the point blades, so just stop any paint getting on there. I still might need to clean a little bit off if I do get any in there. I'm going to do the other point and then we can start spraying. Hi, it's not been the uh, greatest day in the UK today, it's been raining most of the day so as it's actually stopped raining now I can get outside to do this so um, I've given everything a test so I know everything electrically works um, and what I do need to do next is to once I've sprayed this give it a clean and then give it another test I've given the paint a good uh, shake and I just want to get a nice even coat over all of the uh, rail surfaces. I'm actually using a, a frown this time because I, I want to do it look a little bit more like rust. I only want a very light coat over it all, so that's sufficient. And don't forget, always put your can upside down just to clear the nozzle. And what I do need to do now is just to give everything a bit of a clean before the paint fully dries on the tops of the rails. Hmm. There we go. Just want to get this tape out of the way. You should have nice clean point blades there. And I'm just going to give all the surface a general clean. Should only be on the sides of the rails now. Okay. So I'm going to give this a test run. Again, just to make sure we've got no dead spots, but I think that looks okay. So, as you can see, it's uh, just on the uh, sides of the rails, and it's uh, also then covered up the uh, soldering spots that I put on the sides. A lot of people like to put them on the inside of the rails. I, I tend to like to lay the rails down and solder it to the sides obviously you do then see them but once you've ballasted it it's uh, not visible anymore okay after you've cleaned it one thing i would always suggest is just giving it a vacuum just make sure there's uh, no bits left on the sack Let's uh, give this a little bit of a test.
Okay, I'm quite happy that we've got all the electrical contacts there. May need to do a little bit more cleaning um, and uh, just to touch up on some of the paint where it's uh, not got the uh, the best covering. I can just see a couple of places that uh, I might just need to weather in a little bit better. But once I've ballasted in, um, I've got some hard standing to do. So there will be some hard standing here going across and I want that to sort of a nice concrete sort of look that goes all the way along. Um, I'm going to do that the same way as I did on the engage layout that I uh, did only a few weeks back. Um, it didn't turn out a complete disaster so I'm just going to use some like polyfiller um, for this and the advanced it's one that I've got is advanced polyfiller. It's a really light you know um, and it doesn't add any extra weight, it doesn't crack so that's what I want to use on that and then I'm going to use it on the whole of the harbour scene and then just give it a paint I'm not sure whether to do it on this stretch of track yet I need to have a think about that Let me just put this back in so you can actually uh, have a, a look of where we've got to on this episode. And I think uh, got quite a bit more building to do on the uh, scenery. So that's obviously how I want the uh, the harbour wall, as we saw earlier and it should start to look good. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next update.